and welcome back to another video by Four Girl. Today we will be using a new technique on a 16 by 20 canvas. So sit back, relax, and let's flow to it. All right, so we're all set up. I went ahead and got everything ready. So everything is ready to go. I just kind of make some more moves here. So I went ahead and put a white base on the canvas, so a coat of white paint. Um, and you'll see why in just a minute. But I'm just gonna go over what I'm gonna do today. So I'm actually gonna use some uh, string here, which I have cut two different size pieces. off um, actually they're pretty much the same size same length but I cut two pieces off here and um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be making flowers uh, and so I already went and uh, mixed up our paint so I am using red blue and purple so three different colors that are very odd to use together normally you'll see red white and blue or uh, you know blue and red make purple so why am I already using purple but this is a different shade or tone of blue so what I'm gonna do is since I have this all set up is I'm going to lay my rope into the paint that's already on there into like a zigzag pattern here. Just take just a minute to do this. And I'll do the same thing with this other one over here. I'm gonna make it a little taller. Kind of zigzag this one a little bit here as well. And you'll see why we zigzag it instead of just putting a rope on there. Um, so I'm actually kind of pushing it down into the paint. Just so it'll sit straight or sit right on there while I'm getting everything put together. So now that we have our rope on here, what I'm going to do with each color, I am going to put colors down on this rope so that whenever I actually pull the string, it will merge together. So I'm going to add color onto the rope now, onto the uh, canvas. This is a 16 by 20 canvas, uh, one of my bigger canvases. I have done an 18 by 24 before, not with this technique. This is a new technique that I've uh, been trying out and testing and seeing what works and what doesn't. So you just kind of alternate the colors whichever way you want to. Alright, so we are back and ready to go. As you can see, I put color down on each string. So I did the red, blue, purple, red, blue, red, blue, purple. 
And then I did purple, blue, red, purple, blue, red. Uh, it really doesn't matter which way you put it on there. It just depends on what color combination you want it to look like when it comes out. Uh, I did get some spots on here, but that's okay. That just adds to the aesthetic of the painting itself. So our next step here will be, I will be tugging on our rope here and pulling it towards myself. And I want to keep it flat all the way till the till this uh, end is off the canvas. I want to keep it as flat as possible. I don't want to lift it up and pull. I don't want to like lift it up and pull. I want to pull it towards myself. So here we go. Let's see what what it does. Keeping it as flat as possible. And you can see it's dragging this paint. And what it's doing is it's making a flower. Kind of like a tulip type flower. And what we can do with this string here is I'm actually going to lay it back down right over here. Kind of push it down on the canvas. Gonna be right back to this one but I can reuse these strings multiple times of this canvas but I'm only gonna do a few flowers because we don't want the entire thing to be this glob of color so I like what's happening here there is a lot of paint on here and it's gonna take a while to dry and because of how thick it is once it gets to a certain point of dryness I will then take it inside because I am outside and with the heat with this much paint it'll start cracking and we don't want the paint to crack um, we want it to dry just right so let's go ahead and pull this next string so here we go again it's pulling that paint making that mixture and it's pulling the white in because there is that layer of white paint there which what I want to do is I'm going to down, there we go. And there we go. And I can reuse this string on the same canvas if I want to. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to wait to see what I like. I'm actually just going to set it to the side. So I am working on a piece of wood on a different surface here. Um, I'm not sitting on the floor anymore, <laughs> um, which is nice, but I am working on a different surface. Uh, this is where, where I set up next to my art um, storage container. So I'm gonna pull this uh, third flower and see what happens. It's getting a different mixture because of those colors already on there and how the paint has already mixed together. So see this one came out a lot different. The other ones are very bold colors. This one has a better mixture of the colors in there. What I can also do is this way. I can relay into this flower that I've already made. And I can actually take it and I can actually pull it down again and mix the colors even more. Stretch the paint out a little bit more. I do apologize for the noise. We do live by a very busy road, so that I do apologize for. So here we go again. We're gonna pull one more time on this flower and see what happens. See, it's already mixing a lot more there. It's already pulling the paint even more. But 
I'm being as I'm just pulling straight. I'm not pulling up, not pulling down, just pulling straight off of there. And so this one I'm gonna set aside. I'm gonna do the same thing with this other flower. I'm gonna set the the rope back in it, in the paint. And we are going to see what happens. Yes, this way. So we're gonna set it up in the paint up here. go it may not be exact from what I did earlier but that's okay we can always improvise and make new flowers out of the old flowers and just kind of keep doing this until you really like it and that's when you stop is when the, like okay I don't want to mess with any more don't want to make any more adjustments like this one's really cool I'm not gonna add anything to this I may come back to this one and do something else to it, but I really like what these colors did because red and blue make purple, but I had already added purple in there, so it kind of makes this cool effect that the flower is making this color by itself. So we're going to pull this string one more time. Like I said, I'm just pulling it straight towards myself. And we'll see what happens with the paint this time. So I really like how this has these like dots here. What I might do is do this on purpose. You can do do it, do this, do it, you don't have to do this. This just kind of adds to that blank space. I'm not really a big fan of like blank space. So it looks like a hodgepodge mess. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of mix it a little bit here. Kind of gives that a blurry off a blurry background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across the edges here and I'm going to finish off my edges. Um, with my paintbrush, you just kind of smoosh the edges. But on these sides, I need to move these cups out of my way. There we go. You just want to kind of run your brush along this side. You might have to pull, kind of might have to do this. 
which gives it kind of a, a different effect as well. Framed effect. I really like that effect that the edges have. Um, that right there. So this painting, we didn't pour, we didn't move it other than the string. And as you can see, we have our flowers. We have like a blurred background right over there or behind it, which is really cool. Or whatever, it may not be flowers to you, it may be something else. Uh, comment below if you think it's flowers or if you think it's something else. So definitely comment what you think of the painting. Um, this is the finished product. It will be, it will dry and this will kind of matte and be more of a matte coloration. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Definitely, uh, be watching for the next video to come out. Hey there, if you liked the video you just watched, definitely hit the like button, shoot me a comment of what you thought, definitely hit that subscribe button to see what new videos, projects, and techniques I have coming your way.